Okay, now with this video, I want to show you how to do bullet list uh, in Microsoft Word. So uh, if you notice, there's an icon up here that's a bullet. You're just going to click on that. And now notice how you're going to be in a bullet list. These are going to work very similar to a number list, which are on a different video. So let's say I want to type in some, uh, some different states now. I want to have uh, Virginia. And then when I just hit the enter key, they'll go to the next line and give me the next bullet. So then we'll have Maryland. Oregon. You see, I'm just hitting the enter key when I get to the line. Maine. Uh, we have uh, Arizona. Uh, now, when you're done with your bullet list, you're just going to hit the enter key on a blank line. It takes you right out of that. Now, uh, there's ways to format this. By the way, you can see I can misspell that. It's okay. I'm just going to fix that. Okay, now, I want to highlight my bullets. And if you notice over here, there's a pull down next to your bullets. So you can just pick one of these different ones. Now I'll, I'll pick the square. And really you can change it that easily. Just pick one of these different ones. Or let me show you where there's lots more choices. You're going to click on this pull down. And then you're going to say um, define new bullet. All right, now these can either be symbols or pictures. So if I pick on symbol, then you have tons and tons of these icons that you can use for your bullets. Uh, a, a good font to use would be like uh, Wingdings, or if you click on this pull down, it's also called Webdings, and you just have tons and tons of these pictures that can be used for your bullets. So that's one thing that you can do. And really, any of the other fonts can be used as well. But I kind of like Wingdings and web, uh, Webdings, it gives you a lot of pictures and things like that. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. Let's pick one of these. And now you can see your, your bullet change to that. Uh, another thing that you can do is actually put a picture in there. So I'm going to right click uh, and then actually not right click. Click on the pull the next to bullets and we're going to pick on the find new bullet. And this time you're going to go over the picture. Uh, so there's a lot that are built right in. So let's try one of these. Uh, let's try this blue one for example. When I click on that I'll click on OK and then click on OK again and notice how it changed to the blue bullet. So I clicked on the pull the next to the bullet list and then we said define new bullet and then we said picture. What if you want to use your own picture? Well this is where you would come down here and pick on import. Now that's going to go to your Windows Explorer from which you can point to any picture. So I'm going to scroll down and let's say I wanted to use well, let's say I wanted to use the Monopoly guy, okay, just as an example. I'm going to pick on Add there. And then I'll pick on, uh, now you see the picture, I'll click on OK. And I'll click on OK again. And now you can actually see, if you look close enough, that um, the icon has changed to, your, to the Monopoly guy. So you have a lot of great choices with your, with your bullets. Just click on this pull down. Now uh, here's another thing that you can do. We can do sub bullet lists like we saw with the number list. So I'm going to go to uh, Virginia here and hit the enter key. If I want to go to the next level and just I'm going to in, in, um, use the tab key or I can use this icon where it's going to increase the indent. See that? Or to go back to the previous level I can do a shift tab or use this icon over here. So these are great ways uh, to manage your bullet list in Microsoft Word.